When you have diabetes, managing your diet is essential, and pasta often becomes a point of concern. While noodles can be a comforting and convenient meal option, not all are created equal, especially if you're watching your blood sugar levels. Today, we're diving into the top 10 worst noodles you might want to avoid if you have diabetes. Let's explore why these noodles can be problematic and look at some surprising facts backed by scientific studies. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. First on our list are instant noodles. They're a go-to for a quick meal, but they can wreak havoc on blood sugar levels. Instant noodles are often made from refined wheat flour, which is quickly digested and can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar. A study published in the journal Nutrition Research and Practice found that frequent consumption of instant noodles was associated with a higher risk of metabolic syndrome, which includes insulin resistance. These noodles are also loaded with unhealthy fats and sodium, which can contribute to cardiovascular problems, a concern for many people with diabetes. Next up, egg noodles might seem like a better choice due to their protein content. However, they're still primarily made from refined flour, which means they have a high glycemic index. Foods with a high glycemic index can cause quick increases in blood glucose levels, making them less than ideal for managing diabetes. Additionally, egg noodles often contain added fats and cholesterol, which are not great for heart health. Rice noodles, often found in Asian cuisine, are another type to be cautious with. While they are gluten-free and might seem healthier, they're made from refined rice flour. This means they lack the fiber that helps slow down digestion and moderate blood sugar levels. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition highlighted that high consumption of white rice and products made from it, like rice noodles, was linked to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. The quick digestion and absorption can lead to blood sugar spikes, making rice noodles a less desirable option. Another noodle to watch out for is the classic Italian pasta. Traditional pasta made from durum wheat semolina is delicious, but not very diabetes friendly. Similar to other refined wheat products, it can cause significant increases in blood sugar. A study from the Diabetes Care Journal reported that diets high in refined grains are associated with an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The lack of fiber in traditional pasta means there's little to slow down the absorption of carbohydrates, leading to those dreaded sugar spikes. Glass noodles, also known as cellophane noodles, made from mung bean starch or sweet potato starch, might seem like a healthy alternative. However, they too fall into the high glycemic category. The refining process removes most of the beneficial fiber, making these noodles quickly digestible and likely to raise blood sugar levels. Furthermore, the starches used are often processed, contributing to a higher glycemic load. One might think that whole wheat noodles are a better alternative, and while they are somewhat better than their refined counterparts, they can still pose problems. Whole wheat noodles do contain more fiber, which is beneficial, but they still have a significant amount of carbohydrates that can impact blood glucose. According to a study in the Journal of Nutrition, even whole grains can cause notable blood sugar increases in some individuals with diabetes. It's important to remember that portion control is crucial, even with seemingly healthier options. Buckwheat noodles, also known as soba, are often marketed as a healthier choice. However, not all soba noodles are created equal. Many commercially available soba noodles contain a mixture of buckwheat and wheat flour, reducing the benefits of buckwheat alone. The added wheat flour can increase the glycemic index of the noodles. A study published in Appetite showed that mixed soba noodles caused higher blood sugar responses compared to pure buckwheat noodles. It's essential to read labels carefully if you're opting for soba noodles. Moving on to ramen noodles, these are particularly troublesome. Ramen noodles, especially those in the pre-packaged instant variety, are typically deep-fried and contain high levels of saturated fats and sodium. 
A study in the Journal of Nutrition found that regular consumption of instant ramen noodles was linked to poor diet quality and an increased risk of metabolic syndrome. The combination of refined wheat, unhealthy fats, and high sodium content makes ramen noodles a poor choice for anyone, particularly those managing diabetes. Lo mein noodles, a staple in Chinese cuisine, are another type to avoid. They are usually made from refined wheat flour and are often stir-fried in oil, which adds extra calories and unhealthy fats. The combination of high-carb noodles and added fats can lead to significant blood sugar spikes. A study in Public Health Nutrition highlighted that diets high in refined carbohydrates and fats are linked to higher risks of developing diabetes and other metabolic disorders. Finally, we come to a noodle that might surprise many, gnocchi. Gnocchi is a type of Italian dumpling often made from potatoes, flour, and eggs. While it might seem like a nice alternative to regular pasta, gnocchi can be problematic for people with diabetes. The potatoes used in gnocchi have a high glycemic index, and combined with the refined flour, they can cause rapid blood sugar increases. A study in diabetes research and clinical practice found that high consumption of starchy foods like potatoes was associated with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. The combination of high-carb ingredients makes gnocchi a less-than-ideal choice for maintaining stable blood glucose levels. So, what does this all mean for someone with diabetes who loves noodles? It's important to focus on the quality and type of noodles you're consuming. The primary concern with these types of noodles is their high glycemic index and the potential for causing significant blood sugar spikes. This can lead to increased insulin resistance and make diabetes management more challenging. It's also crucial to pay attention to portion sizes and to pair noodles with plenty of fiber-rich vegetables and lean proteins to help moderate blood sugar responses. While it might seem like there are no good noodle options left, there are indeed better choices out there. Noodles made from alternative ingredients like chickpeas, lentils, or shirataki can provide lower glycemic options that are better for blood sugar control. These alternatives often contain more fiber and protein, which can help slow down digestion and keep blood sugar levels more stable. In conclusion, while traditional noodles like instant, egg, rice, and others mentioned can be a significant part of many diets, they are not the best choice for people with diabetes. The high glycemic index, lack of fiber, and additional unhealthy fats and sodium can contribute to blood sugar spikes and other health issues. However, by making informed choices and opting for healthier alternatives, it's possible to enjoy noodles without negatively impacting your blood sugar levels. Always remember to consult with your healthcare provider or a nutritionist to find the best dietary choices for your individual needs.